So why is it that you can walk into a place and go, wow, this place is amazing. And essentially, if you actually look at the architecture here, okay, everything is made out of wood and it's all handmade. And if you look even over here where you've got the fire extinguisher things that they make, okay, everything, all of the details are made. The hand inlaid, um, uh, baby oyster that is put into this table and all of these different elements that make this particular room wow. Now I've just finished doing a training here and I'm, in case you don't know who I am, I'm Arthur Carmazzi, best-selling author and currently ranked as one of the world's top 10 thought leaders in organizational culture and leadership. And I would like to basically give you an idea of the emotion that goes in to creating the concept of excellence. See, there are different emotions that we have. So for example, we may have the emotion or the emotional drive of achievement. Achievement means finishing things. Now, when the primary drive would be achievement and finishing things, you may do things quickly and not really pay that much attention to detail because the emotional gratification comes from finishing it, not from making it extraordinary. While on the other hand, the emotional drive for excellence is about making it as best as you can so that it creates this amazing outline of awesomeness. Now, if you combine, let's say, a sense of excellence with a sense of significance and recognition, which basically means you want to create something outstanding and the benefit of creating that outstanding, you also connect to being recognized as well, basically being able to have something that if you've created that is awesome. So what ends up happening is that when you combine those two, and let me just kind of, um, help you to understand that the idea of having a sense of significance is not bad. In fact, everybody that has actually achieved anything has a pretty good ego and, and a you know, need for recognition. But anyway, um, when you combine excellence and recognition, what ends up happening is that you create awesomeness. Now, of course, Excellence can also go the opposite direction, right? Where you become like this perfectionist and you're focusing on all the little tiny details and then you're driving people crazy because the details are just, you know, are too much, okay? So, of course, there has to be the balance between achievement, okay, and excellence. And, of course, recognition is one of the additional motivators that helps you to achieve it. So next time you want people to basically stand out and, and do things at a higher level, make sure that their emotional drive for excellence is nurtured through a sense of recognition and that the emotional drive for achievement is also done because if you put it into small milestones, it's like, wow, look at you've achieved this part. Wow, look, we've got this perfect um, and most awesome uh, table, uh, boardroom table, right? So now you have achieved that element of it, okay? So by combining an emotional drive for achievement, finishing things, getting things done to where it is outstanding, which basically is a sense of significance and recognition and making sure that you have an attention to detail to make sure that that outstandingness, well, is outstanding, okay? This is where we succeed in creating excellence in our organizations and our families and, well, basically life in general. This is Arthur Carmazzi wishing you great success. Thanks for watching the Knights of Transformation. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to Carmazzi TV on YouTube.